Could this be the best handling car that Toyota makes? Of course not. There's the Supra and even the 86. <laughs> but man, is it nice. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2021 Toyota Avalon TRD. So last year we reviewed the Camry TRD. It was a nice driving car, but it never felt quite as sporty as it looked. And while we just found out that Toyota plans to end production of the Avalon in 2022, this particular trim is a bit different. Providing us with oxymorons is this 2021 Ice Edge Toyota Avalon TRD. Standard features include LED reflector headlights with smoked chrome bezels, LED daytime running lights and LED tail lights, front gloss black grille with sport mesh insert, 19 inch TRD matte black alloy wheels wrapped in 235 40 series Michelin Primacy MXM4 all season tires, red TRD badge, 12.9 inch front rotors with dual piston caliper, TRD glass black rear spoiler and front, side, and rear arrow kit with red pinstriping, TRD tuned front and rear suspension, and TRD cat back dual exhaust with polished stainless steel tips. Inside, there's a TRD red stitched leather trim steering wheel, eight way power soft text red stitch seats with red seat belts, heated front seats, dual zone climate control, 7-inch multi-information display with TRD startup animation, 60-40 split folding rear seat, audio plus with 9-inch touchscreen, 8 speakers and hands-free Bluetooth for phone and music, USB media port, 4 USB charge ports, Sirius XM with 3-month trial, Qi wireless charging, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, TRD logo headrest, floor mats, trunk mat, and shift knob, and smart key system with push button start. Safety and convenience features include backup camera, as well as Toyota Safety Sense P that consists of pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, and automatic high beams. Plus, there's a blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert too. Now that all that is said and done, you get a total MSRP of $43,870. In true Avalon fashion, this car is equipped with Michelin Green X series efficiency focused tires. Not my choice for a TRD trim, but if you're truly serious, a summer tire option is available now too. As with the Camry TRD, this Avalon has a catback exhaust, thicker underbody braces, and a tuned suspension that lowers the ride height by 6 tenths of an inch. The Ice Edge paint with black roof is a TRD exclusive, and the rear spoiler is way more acceptable than what the Camry TRD has. Like the standard Avalon, cargo capacity is just under 16.1 cubic feet. Fold the rear seats down and you get even more. Plus, there's a jack and compact spare beneath the floor. As you'd find in most other V6 Toyotas is this 3.5 liter dual overhead cam six cylinder engine that makes 301 horsepower and 267 pound feet of torque. A direct shift eight speed electronically controlled automatic transmission with paddle shifters sends power to the front wheels. Eco, normal and sport drive modes are present and it's six second zero to 60 time hasn't changed from other V6 Avalons either. Although this one does sound better. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 21 miles per gallon city, 30 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 25 miles per gallon. 
Auto Academics saw an average of 25.5 miles per gallon during testing on regular fuel. As expected, the back seat is plenty roomy with sculpted seats that look and feel the part. The Softex leather is soft, <laughs> and cup and bottle holders reside in the center armrest and doors. AC vents are present, and a USB-C port now resides with the old school A version. While the essence of the Avalon is still present, the influence of TRD is obvious with a monotone color palette highlighted by red stitching and accents. These seats look good and are comfortable and adequately supportive, and the red seat belts work too. The infotainment system is starting to look dated though when compared to Toyota's newer offerings, but the addition of Android Auto keeps it functional. Like the Camry TRD we reviewed, this car is specced as a mid-tier trim, just with the TRD goodies, so let's see how they fare. So let's cut to the chase. The big takeaway from this car is its handling, and I like it. Whereas the Camry, which is already sportier in general, didn't offer much difference in TRD form, there's a notable improvement with this Avalon. The suspension is firmer without being harsh, adding more control while still being comfortable. It's still an Avalon, yet more responsive, and that's with these EcoFocus tires. Everything else is still an Avalon though too. While the brakes are larger and feel really good, they don't bite very hard. And I'm not sure how well they'd fare with repeated hard stops. You already know about the powertrain because it's pretty much the same as any other V6 Toyota or Lexus for that matter. The engine's fine and the tuned exhaust Sounds cool, but the transmission? It does what it wants to do, even in manual mode if you get too close to redline. And that's a shame because a true manual mode could make this car more fun. At the end of the day, this Avalon TRD is a car that no one expected. And while like the Camry TRD, there are things that could be improved, I'm glad they made it. So there you have it guys, the 2021 Toyota Avalon TRD. No, it's not the best handling car that Toyota makes, but it's hands down the best handling Avalon by far. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you were caught off guard by this Avalon TRD package in the comments section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.